Bubbly Steve is available for pre-order at shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. You've got less than a month to pre-order this 15-inch plushie. Check them out. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And guess what? What? Digimon is problematic. Oh, but not for the reasons people are probably expecting. No, I was confused. Actually, Squid King told me about it yesterday. He was like, Dad, Digimon is problematic. I'm like, oh, did they put titties on them or something? No, 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 it's worse than that. They're calling out cancel culture. <gasps> oh my God, Twitter just shat itself. Shat itself fiercely. Shat them on. I just, this is dumb. They're just, they're just saying what they've been saying, which is you're full of shit. And then Twitter's having a meltdown. Yeah, and Twitter is alleviating the shit from its body as <laughs> it. Uh, Here's about this. Yeah, actually some voice actors from Digimon uh, got together and they did live reading and they they were uh, talking about how cancel culture is this dark cloud coming over the internet and then this fan subgroup uh, translated it as I understand it and uh, they put a warning label on it. They're like, warning, this contains alt-right conspiracy theories. Oh no, but it's funny because you know what? They're Japanese. That doesn't make them alt-right. Asian hate. Yes, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you, America? So yeah, you know, Japan is clearly getting tired of all of the bullshit going on uh, coming from the West. The censorship, a lot of it is coming from the West. Japan's not really censoring itself. It's getting pressure from the United States, from California in particular. From certain areas in the United yeah. States, let's put it that way. Uh, New York, California, The usual Portland. suspects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Australia's pushing back now. We're seeing a lot of uh, manga and, and light novels get banned. And now this this culture war is coming to Digimon. Mm -hmm. so, Digimon. Uh, Digimon. And I got the song on my head. Digimon. Yeah, that's, Digimon. that's in my head, yes. Digimon aren't the champions? Yeah, okay. they're kicking your ass. They are. Uh, so let's talk about that. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We're over 227,000. Yay! Thank you for the support. Now, disclaimer, I haven't watched Digimon in a really long time. Nor have I. Uh, so I do remember the kids watching it. Yes. Uh, reruns of it. the song. Yeah, and Metabots and some of the other mm -hmm. knockoff oh, Metabot. yes. knock Pokemon shows. I used to watch Monster Rancher. Uh, yeah, I think Squid can like that one too. I like Monster Rancher. Yeah. I, lo I love the game. That was actually one of my favorite he, games. He loved the game too, I remember. Because you put the CDs in and they had these little in jokes like uh, NXS kick. You'd actually get like a soccer ball monster. Mm. See, I don't. I didn't play these things. Yeah, mm, It did. wasn't my culture. But anyway. Now I have to explain what CDs are to the kids. Like, yeah, you put CDs... In the PS1, and that's how you got your monsters. No, they understand what that is. They're not that dumb. All right. Digimon Tamer's stage play. Accused of promoting far-right politics by fan translation group for featuring... This is a long headline. For featuring political correctness as a villain with a cancel culture attack. You know what I think is funny? <laughs> They're mad because the villain is political correctness, yet... Far left groups do all kinds of articles, stories, whatever, and even Doctor Who, Orange Man, bad. That's okay. And I don't even like Trump that much. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm full disclosure. I'm not. I'm not Republican. However, I think that the, that there's, you know, it got a little bit ridiculous because no matter what, the boogeyman was always like, you know, far right, Trump, whatever, and that. They, so it's okay when they do that. It's, they do it all the damn time. It's like it's like a trope now. It's so overused. That's fine. But when the Japanese on their own stage play decide to call it political correctness and cancel culture as the villain, oh my God. They have to be canceled. Oh, the irony. I know, right? You try to cancel cancel culture and you get canceled. And this is, look, the Japanese are getting really tired of the bullshit. Eventually they're just going to- I agree gonna, with like, them. They're just going to like, like build a force field around Japan and be like, you know what? We're staying in on the inside here and rest of you. You can all go crazy. I just don't think that these people have the right to tell another culture how, what they should and shouldn't think, what they should and shouldn't like, what they should and shouldn't tell stories about. I'm like, if, if they, if, if someone came, okay, if a white person here tried to tell a bunch of Asian people in the United States they couldn't do something, you'd be canceling them over Twitter being like, how dare you Asian hate while you yourself go to, to, to the Asians in Japan and tell them they, what they can and can't say. Yeah. I'm just like, you know what? You are the exact same thing. Potter kettle, you know, potato, potato. Just shut up. 
Anyway, uh, this is coming from Bounty in the Comics, Spencer Bakuli. We're going to go out and we'll see some of the tweets here. But yeah, the recent fan sub of Digimon Tamer stage play performed during the recent Digifest 2021 event. English fan sub group The Wild Bunch included a warning at the beginning of their release. Warning! This program promotes far-right politics and conspiracy theories. Oh, wait. Cancel World Shows are conspiracy theory? Bullshit! Uh, due Bullshit. To, due to its featuring political correctness as the story's villain. I think it's hilarious. Um, I think you'll find most people probably find it funny. Cancel culture is not real. Conspiracy theory. Oh, yeah. Okay. Released on August 3rd, the Wild Bunch's fan sub of the Digifest 2021 stage play bears a disclaimer warning viewers that the stage play, which sees the cast of Digimon Tamers reunite to read a newly written script from series writer uh, Chiaki J. Kanaka. I probably butchered that also of serial experiments lane fame very good very good anime by the way uh himself uh program promotes far-right politics and conspiracy theories so wait, basically if you don't agree with what they what they believe it's far-right politics and conspiracy theories yeah okay yeah just yeah. you know so twitter you don't you don't get twitter yeah it's far right right because we keep we keep getting labeled alt-right far-right whatever and we don't even lean right all, all because they think that cancel culture is out of control, that censorship is ridiculous. And, these are and things, they mock it. And they mock it. And this used to be the left. This used to actually be something that the left, you know, advocated for was freedom of speech, uh -huh. freedom of expression, uh, freedom to put out dangerous art or dangerous books or whatever. They now can't we, control everybody that way. Right. Now we've got the left and not the right. It used to be the religious right back Now it's the, the religious day. left. It's the religious left wanting to ban books and ban shows and censor things. When you become what you hate, you are now the enemy. Anyway, continue. So here is here it is. It's like the program promotes far right politics and conspiracy theories. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy that there is a a cloud called cancel culture. Wait, so wait, cancel culture is a conspiracy, but they're all putting warnings to cancel a video about cancel culture, but it's a conspiracy. Oh, the irony! Then don't put warnings on it. If, if you if you if you feel like cancel culture isn't real, why put warnings on it so people are aware so they know what to cancel? All right, so they have a brief recap of what they've been up to since they fought alongside Crimson uh, Gallatmon to save the world from the D Reaper. Uh, the Digimon Tamer's long-awaited reunion is soon interrupted by Hypno's leader, Mitsuo Yamaki, who asks, How much longer are you going to be doing this fluffy friendship story? A new threat is approaching, even as we speak. And what does the government do? They form the Digital Reform Bill, a recently passed Japanese bill which aims to digitize the country's government, which has faced criticism for the potential of the information digitized, abused, and stolen. Yeah, we talked about this before mm -hmm. with uh, digital. Uh, now of all times, it passes, but the handling personal information is considered secondary. Uh, so don't you see it? The dark shadows that have fallen upon the internet. The terrifyingly increasing pressure to conform to a single value system where anyone who objects is removed. You mean like they, they, they take your videos down or take you off of social media or whatever if you don't go along with what they say? You mean that? Yep. Censorship on the internet is rampant and the real news covered up by fake news. People with different opinions have their online accounts terminated. Even alternate perspectives are set out to be crushed by fact checkers so only uniform answers can exist. At this point, people's daily lives are controlled by information on the internet. My one friend, actually, it was funny. He put something up on Facebook, and they, and then he got in trouble and they until they fact-checked it and found out he wasn't wrong. <laughs> and then he was like, well, you know. <sighs> Don't you see the dark clouds approaching us? Soon they will engulf the entire Earth and use its fearsome power to strip humans of our inherent free values by the roots. Oh, my God. Extreme political correctness. Now is exactly the time for Tamers and Digimon to take a stand. Digimon are the champions. <laughs> Digimon. Uh, shortly after Yamaki gives his warning and uh, Impmon makes an appearance, a group is attacked by a mysterious entity materializing above the skies of West Shinjuku. The aforementioned political correctness. It's a, it's a cloud in the sky. This is funny. Uh, the Tamers and their Digimon partners are quick to leap into action to combat their newly formed physical opponent. The entity soon responds by activating its cancel culture attack. <laughs> How, however, before political correctness can unleash the full might of its attack, it is inter interrupted by a transmission uh, from uh, Golmon and Renamon, who the Tamers ask for help before the script reading comes to a cliffhanger ending. Uh, so here's, here's what uh, the Wild Bunch said about their content warning. Mm -hmm. 
The content warning at the beginning of the video was put in long after long deliberation as well. Personally, while I was looking forward to subbing the skit, I became hesitant once I saw what the skit was about. While we typically credit all individuals who worked on any of our projects, we have decided to keep individuals unnamed this time around for similar reasons. Because they've heard people will come after that. Why? If yeah. cancel culture is a conspiracy theory, why do you have to unname people? Because you're afraid they're going to be harassed and canceled? But wait! that There's no such thing. So this is causing fights because they dared translate this Japanese... No, I mean, it's not their fault. No. I mean, they just translated it. They didn't say it. If you're pissed at somebody, you meant pissed at them. Um, other than the fact they put a warning on the front, which I think is hilarious. Then why, if you're triggered by this, why did you watch it? God, I think it's hilarious. So people are like, don't worry, it's not the show, but it's a Japanese convention, but it's actually written by the, the writer of the show. And, just, and the actors did it. And the actors did it. Because they're tired of everybody telling them what they can and can't say. Because, you know, respect other cultures, respect other people, you know, all lives matter, or sorry, certain lives matter, like, you know, Asian lives or black lives, whatever. But when they actually want to say something you don't like, oh, <gasps> no. Listen, if you tell me political correctness strips humans of our inherent values, all I'm hearing is racism is an integral part of who I That's am. That's not what they're saying at all. They're talking like, about whoa, titties. Whoa, 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 titties. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you tell me political correctness strips humans of our inherent values, all I'm hearing from you know, these Asian people in other cultures that's not my own is that, you know, racism is, is okay. Says the person who's, you know, saying that's what they're saying because they said that they think political correctness is stupid. <laughs> I'm just like, Really? This is Metal Gear Solid 2 with less words and robots. What's the big deal here? This is uh, how the Japanese feel about it. You know, they're like, oh, Lord, the fuck? Oh, my God. Oh, no. So now here comes all the white Karens mm -hmm. um, and Kyles on Twitter to tell the Asian people what they should and shouldn't think. That's right. So it doesn't offend people that aren't them. <laughs> they're like, where's the episode where they all troll people about their pronouns? Uh, Someone said that. Yeah. <laughs> So this is uh, Resetera, of course. Resetera, not happy. Well, like, Resetera is oh, never happy. What else is new? That's going to be an oh no from me. And you know, nothing of value was lost. Not the tamers. Because uh, everybody's tired of it. You know what? You you guys keep going after everybody and trying to you you keep bullying everyone and trying to tell everybody they have to fit into what you you think is okay and what is acceptable by your terms, even other countries and cultures and things that aren't aren't you. You tell everybody here that you have you know you have to you accept other people. You're you're racist, istophobic, whatever. But it's okay when they don't accept something. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is the other stuff he wrote. Big O, which I love. Mm -hmm. Serial Experiments Lane, which I love. Uh, Digimon Tamers, I have not seen. Uh, Razifon was okay. Ultraman Tiga, Ultraman Gaia, Ultra Q Dark Fantasy, and Ultraman Max. So, yes, uh, he has actually written a couple of the best mm -hmm. Ultraman series. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, Tiga I, you is, know, is Squid King's favorite. I know. I don't blame them. You know, I, I, get, I get tired of it, too, and I live here. I can't imagine what the, you know, how they go after anyone they think is, is being, you know, istophobic to anyone they you know another culture than them or oh you're a white straight guy you're allowed to say anything if you have opinions about anybody else because how dare you even exist but we can go ahead and make comments about you know people in japan and what they think and believe and you know put it in you know label alt right which isn't even like you know what i mean that's yeah, not it's japan it's and, japan but that's okay it's okay when they do it that's yeah. fine Two of my top three anime are written by someone who would show up on InfoWars. Fuck. Here's the thing. <laughs> you know what's funny, though? The people whining are a small percentage. Most people don't even care. Uh, it's going to do. You're, you're being butt hurt. As you have to put, you like to be put mad, say to us, you being asked mad isn't going to change anything. Right back at you. Stay salty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, stay salty. Yeah, right. I'm drinking your tear. I'm drinking a mug of your tears. tears. You know, I mean, just like let it, it's their culture. It's their show. They can say whatever the hell they want. Now, was it? Yeah, again, you know, this wasn't part of the show, but this is look. This is becoming no, but the, the stage show is their show. Oh yeah, but this is this is becoming more and more of a theme. I mean, we're seeing more and more Japanese mm -hmm. creators speaking out. They're basically like, hey. Uh, you guys want the mental illness over there in the States that, that is, that is on you, but we don't want it over here, but it's coming over here because of the uh, global nature of manga and anime. Now mm -hmm. it's and I, to, I say, don't change, don't change. 
You, you know? know, the reason you've been popular here is because you didn't change. As soon as you kowtow to these people, you're just, it's going to be, you're just going to be like everything else. It's going to not make money. Yep. And it's going to fall off a cliff. Yep. Because that's what happened. Because there's such a, a tiny group of people, percentage wise, anyway, that are pissed about it. Don't change for that. You know, they tell everybody else, you know, don't change for people, you know, who are, what they label alt right or whatever, even if they're not. Um, so, same back at you, don't change. So Digimon fighting against political correctness is pretty badass. I think it's kind of funny. It's yeah. pretty funny, but uh, yeah, you, now we know that the uh, you know they're gonna scream about it over here, and they're gonna dig into this guy's past. They already are. There's some other tweets oh, yeah, his out there. His descent into madness. His descent into madness. <sighs> they're gonna be like, oh my god, he's all kinds of alt right conspiracy theories. You know, even if he has other conspiracy theories, I don't. I'm not up on it. So you know, it's possible. But this whole idea that that political correctness and cancel culture is a conspiracy theory is a load of shit because we constantly see even hashtags going on Twitter, yep. cancel so-and-so. Yep. They literally put the cancel so-and-so hashtag. They deliberately, like we saw it with Gina Carano. She wouldn't put pronouns in her bio, said, you know, but I respect and understand why you do and support you. They did everything they could to cancel her because she didn't vote the way they wanted and they didn't like she had, didn't have pronouns. She automatically they labeled her unfairly. There's all this shit around it until they got her taken off. They tried to do the same thing with Rosaria Dawson, but it didn't work because she was, you know, proven innocent by the courts. But they get this in their head that they're doing some good and, and, but they'll say it's, it's not real. There's no such thing as they actually use the damn cancel hashtags. Yeah. I mean, and they act like for these people who are defending, I've seen them call women and minorities the most, you know, trashy, hateful, uh, you know, nasty terms possible when they don't align with them. Yeah. And then there's people that, you know, might not agree with somebody, but they're not, they'll never use those terms. And they're the bad guys. But these people are like, oh, because Letitia writes something they didn't like or Zoe Saldana said something they didn't like. They will call them any kind of, all kinds of racial slurs. Like, they will just descend. And just vomit all this up. But it's okay when they do it. And I'm tired of this. It's okay when they do it. And it's supposed to be like, oh, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a conspiracy theory. No, cancel culture is not a conspiracy theory. And they keep trying to say that, well, this is the, the right doing it. And it's like, yeah, I don't think, I don't think either side. I, I, again, you know, I refer to them as a religious left because we saw the religious right canceling stuff back in the day. And, uh, you know, I just, I, I think... People should be allowed to make the kind of art they want to make, you know, listen to the kind of music they want to listen to, whatever. If, if it's against your sensibilities and you personally do not partake in it, it's not hard. Right. I know? mean, as long as you're not doing anything illegal or, you know, really, really, really bad, then it doesn't really, I don't see what the big deal is. And it's like, you know, that's up to them. Don't watch it. Don't, that's what you always tell us. When we get mad about them ruining 80s shows, well, but just don't watch it then. It's not for you. But you're allowed to tell everybody else they can't do what they want to do because you don't like it. Yeah. It's yeah. like, no, bullshit. I'm so tired of the double standard. Sit and spin. Grow a pair. If you don't want to have a pair, then, you know, put it hard on, on a thicker arm or skin. I don't want to tell you. Sorry, I slammed the table, but I was like, damn it, I'm sick of it. Uh, yeah, and so is Japan. So I think we're going to wrap this one up. Mm-hmm. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.